Hi friends, how are you? Um, this is Tona Brown and you're listening to one another one of my video blogs. Um, I want to talk briefly about the importance of men mentors, mentors in your life. Um, I've been very fortunate um, ever since I was very young. There were some very, very strong women um, in my life that were not only in my family, but also were around me at all times as well as a few very strong gentlemen who taught me the importance of love, of compassion, and of making and achieving all of your goals. Um, the first person is my aunt. I had an aunt who saw something special in me at a very young age, and she wanted me to learn at five years old that it's okay to be different. And that seems like a very small life lesson, but it was huge for me because she knew at five through eight that I was gonna transition. And she would talk openly about it to the rest of my family. And they thought that she was cuckoo and she was absolutely right. Now, my Aunt Edna is her name. My Aunt Edna was a revolutionary thinker. She was extremely intelligent. She graduated magna cum laude from um, Bernard College in the 60s, I think. If I'm wrong, because I know some of my family will look at it, you guys just let me know and I'll put it in. But she was an amazing mentor. She was someone that didn't have an issue with me being me and encouraging it very young. Um, she was a dancer, she was a model at one point, and so she encouraged me to get into, get into the arts. She felt that that was going to be a safe place for me because I was very creative and a creative thinker. And she couldn't have been further from, um, I mean, she couldn't have been more right, is what I want to say. I mean, I was embraced by the dance community, I was embraced by the music community, and I was able to grow and be myself in both of these communities. So it was definitely a really good fit for me, and I'm really glad that I pursued a career in the arts. Um, but she used to take me to all sorts of muse museums and, you know, all kinds of she would make sure I would taste different types of foods and learn etiquette and all kinds of things and then there was a my grandmother who didn't have the education that my aunt Etna had but she was such a larger than life personality and she was very protective over the family and extremely religious by the time I got older and so she gave me a really good spiritual um, foundation and taught me that you know you can do all things through Christ Jesus you know that was her thing and whether you know you believe in Christ or you believe in God or what have you we believe in the universe there's so many different things between her having such a strong Christian faith and between my aunt having such an open mind to all things and having me read all sorts of um, spiritual things um, the Quran and Hindu things and you know going to museums and learn about different cultures I started to have a very open mind in general okay so then of course there comes my mother and my mother was you don't mess with my child period my child is my child period and that was it <laughs> you know and so with her she gave me a really good self-esteem because she took me out of things that she thought would be dangerous and she took certain family members and certain people that were friends of the family away from me when she saw that they might have an issue with me being such an effeminate child at that time being raised male um, she knew that I might have some problems so she wanted to make sure you know I took self-defense and that you know I was healthy mentally and I don't see that with a lot of parents I don't see that they go that far out of the way to make sure that their child no matter who they are is feels good about themselves and is confident in being who they are 
So I'm really, really grateful for that. Um, I don't know what I would do without these women. And then I had a, my aunt, who I still see in North Carolina today, um, who has a big business in North Carolina, a not-for-profit business. And she She's just such a leader in her community. And her name is Sylvia. And I love her with all my heart. And she is that other set of thinking where it's like okay we need to be practical we need to you know think about budget and career and business and housing and all of these wonderful things but I think that having these strong women in my life one I could never see myself as being a weak person or feeling like some man was there to take care of me and that I was just going to sit around the house and not do anything because none of these ladies carried themselves that way at all. At all. In fact, all of the ones that I just mentioned took care of themselves. Um, and even if they were married, they went out and they worked and wanted to have their own money and independence. So all of those things were remarkable. Musically speaking, you know, I had my violin teacher who was the first african-american male to teach in norfolk public schools mr daryl husky um dr john mccormick who used to take me with his family to operas and to um fairy symphony concerts and you know he was a very crude man he passed away and it was like i didn't even know he passed away but i was so sad that i couldn't have been at his funeral um you know i think that having mentors in your life are extremely important another huge mentor to me has been Oprah Winfrey because all of those women together combined is Oprah Winfrey I see my family in her I see how she gets elated from helping people and that is my family you know they weren't selfish people just at all um, they believed and if you came into their house you had to eat something you know you it was just it's a southern traditional way of thinking um and i appreciate it now growing up and i thought certain things and certain rules that we had were silly and trivial but the older i get the more i appreciate them mentors in your life are essential and a lot of people want to know how is it that i'm able to persevere and get through tough times and have these incredible highs in my life and it's because I believe that you know with hard work you deserve them it's, it's because I believe that there's nothing that I cannot obtain if I put my mind to it and it comes from these people raising me from such a young age so I wanted to just briefly ask my audience about how do they feel about mentors who was that special someone or group of people in your life that kept you going that you feel that you can look up to either in the past or today have you ever had a mentor in your life um, all of those things I think that we all need to really think about them so I just wanted to share that with you um, I've had a plethora of of mentors and people that I admire and artists and musicians that I've worked with like Isaac Stern and Ani Kavakfian and various vocalists that I can't <clears throat> excuse me um, that I can't imagine going through life without having at least talked to or perform with um, I'll never forget my conversation with um, I was just listening to her Shirley Verrett on YouTube actually I was just listening to her you know and her encouraging me to continue to pursue my career but to do it my own way because I needed to develop my own niche I mean how powerful advice is that and look how my career has come you know I'm definitely my own person with my own aesthetic and business so thank you guys so much for listening I just want to share that with you and I look forward to your comments bye